Andy Murray has outlined that he will likely miss the French Open and the whole of the clay court season. Andy Murray has admitted he is set to skip the French Open in May. The three-time Grand Slam champion will also miss the rest of the clay court season as he carefully plans his 2022 schedule. Right now I am not planning on playing through the clay, Murray said on Sunday. The past couple of years, the clay has made issues worse, last year I had some issues at the beginning of the year, the clay didn't help, so I've spoken to my team about that and this year while I feel good and healthy, I don't want to take that risk. It's not that I wouldn't potentially play on clay in the future. Last year I almost missed Wimbledon, was close to not playing the grass season, am not planning on playing the clay. I will still try to compete a bit during that period, I won't do nothing, that's my plan just now. I had a busy end of last year and the next couple of months I won't take any risks and hopefully get a good build up to the grass season. The 2016 Roland Garros finalist appears to be taking a page out of Roger Federer's playbook, as the Swiss maestro skipped the entire clay court season in 2017 and 2018 to preserve his body for the grass court season and beyond. It proved a treat for the tennis legend five years ago, as he went on to win a record eighth Wimbledon crown. After a disappointing second round defeat at the Australian Open last month, Murray, 34, will turn his attention to the ATP event in Rotterdam next week. He is also set to trial a new coach after his trial with German Jander Witt came to an end following his premature exit at Melbourne Park. That will be his friend and former coach Danny Volverdu, who is available while his current client Stan Vivrinka recovers from injury. Volverdu was part of Murray's team when he won his first two Grand Slams in partnership with Ivan Lendl. It's not been easy to find someone, the double Olympic champion said. Obviously, Stan Warinka has been rehabbing for quite a long time and is hopefully coming back to the tour, but he agreed for Danny to come and work with me for a few weeks over the next month or so which is great for me in the short term, but still trying to find a longer term solution. It's not that straightforward, I'm not as in demand as a few years ago. Ultimately, I want it to be the right person. I'm aware Terry's no perfect setup, but medium, longer term I want some stability and will try and get that in the next few weeks. Murray will get his Rotterdam campaign underway against world number 35 Alexander Bublik tomorrow. He made a last-minute decision to play in the Netherlands, which is a change of plan from his original schedule. The former world number one lifted the title there back in 2009, and this year will be looking to get some more wins under his belt before heading to the Middle East. The British scheduled to play in the Doha and Dubai events following next week's tournament.